Hello, welcome to Lenza Training. This tutorial shows how to write a PLC logic by using the PLC designer. In this example, a project named PLC base PRG is opened. The controller 3200C serves as PLC device. When selecting Visu underscore project, a basic machine diagram is displayed. In this example, empty containers are filled up with ingredients. The container comes from the left side and is filled up as soon as it is detected by the sensor. When this is done, the container is passed on to next conveyor belt. The speed of the conveyor belt can be controlled through an analog speed set point. There are available three digital inputs. B1 is the container detected signal. S1 is the manual valve open command through push button. And B2 is the container filling done feedback. S2 is the conveyor speed set point which is the analog input there are available three digital outputs q1 is conveyor halt q2 is the conveyor run command and q3 is the valve open command finally there is one analog output k1 is the target velocity the icon to the left of the PLC program name indicates that the program is written in function block diagram. Go to the PLC underscore PRG tab to access the program editor. The window in the middle is used for writing the logic. In the declaration window, the local variables and function block instances are declared. In the program editor, write the machine logic. Go to the toolbox, drag a network and drop it in the editor window. Give a suitable description for the network. Go to the toolbox, drag an empty box and drop it in the editor window. Define which function block is needed by typing in its global name. Then give a specific name to the function block. An auto declaration window pops up for declaring the function block instance and the local variable. The name, the type and the initialization method can be defined and it is also possible to give a comment. Click on the function block input to select an input variable with the help of the input assistant. Press the OK button after selecting the desired variable from the list. Also, assign an output variable to complete the rising edge function, which ensures that the conveyor comes to a halt as soon as the container is detected. Generate the valve open command by using an AND function so that the valve can be opened via the push button while the conveyor 
is at standstill. Program another AND function for resetting the conveyor halt command when the filling is done. Set a negation that ensures that a run command is executed, provided that the conveyor is not at standstill. Assign a set velocity input and target velocity output. Again, program a move function which sets the target velocity to zero as soon as the conveyor halt signal is on. Go to the online tab and select login, then confirm the warning message to download the project. Go to the Debug tab and select Start to enable the controller. The conveyor belt is running according to the target velocity. As soon as the container is detected, the conveyor belt stops. In halt mode, the container is filled up when the valve is opened by manually pressing the push button. After the filling is done, the conveyor belt continues running. Go to the online tab and select logout to go offline. Scaling functions are used to scale an analog signal. The example has demonstrated how to write a scaling function. The target velocity is on a scale between 0 and 250 rpm. The limit function defines the analog input's minimum and maximum limit. It is divided by its resolution and multiplied by the maximum scaled value. Again, go online and log in with online change. The analog input value is scaled accordingly. Go to the online tab and select Create Boot Application for Devices from Lenza to store the program permanently. Log out to go offline. Go to the File tab and select Save Project to finally save the project on your local drive. 